Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Kleksky theory of distribution. Michael Kleksky uses degree of monopoly power to explain the concept of income distribution. That's why this theory is very unique. According to this theory, degree of monopoly power will decide ability to set price. If degree of monopoly power is high, that means the firm has very few competitor and it can set higher price. On the other hand, if degree of monopoly power is very low, that means firm is facing so much competition in market and it cannot set higher price. As we know, this theory is based on degree of monopoly power and formula of calculating degree of monopoly power is P minus M over P. Here mu represent degree of monopoly power. P represent price, M represent marginal cost. In this theory, we assume marginal cost is equal to average cost. That's why we replace A with M. A means average cost. P will come in this side. And when we minus average cost from price, it will become equal to income of firm from per unit production. Suppose firm is producing total X number of goods. So we will multiply both sides with X. And X into P minus A is equal to gross income of one firm. In order to calculate gross income of all firm in economy, we will do summation both side. As we know, summation represents total income of all firm in economy. So, this part represents total income of all firm in economy. So, this is our final equation. Here, P is price, X is quantities. Price into quantities is equal to total revenue. When we add sigma, it will become equal to T. T means aggregate turnover. Now we divide both sides of this equation with aggregate turnover. After doing this, our equation will become like this. This and this will cancel with each other. And our final equation will become like this. As we know, T is equal to sigma XP. So we replace T in place of sigma XP. Here mu means micro degree of monopoly power and this part represents gross capital income of all form in economy and T represents aggregate turnover. And when we divide income with turnover, it will become equal to profit margin. According to this equation, our profit margin depends on micro degree of monopoly power. If we have more monopoly power, that means we are facing very few competition in market and that's why we can set higher price, eventually can earn more profit margin. On the other hand, if we have very less monopoly power, that means we are facing so much competition in market. That's why we cannot set a higher price. We have to set lower price. Eventually, our profit margin will become very less. So, uh, our profit margin will depend on a micro degree of monopoly power. So, according to this model, first thing that influence uh, income distribution is monopoly power. And a higher price by a monopolist can lead to unequal distribution of income. Second thing can influence uh, income distribution is role of capital and labor. As we know, capitalistic earn more profit, eventually more income. On the other hand, uh, labor class are not able to earn uh, more income. It will lead to unequal distribution in economy. Next thing that affect income distribution is saving and investment. As we know, capitalistic earn more, eventually save more. And with this saving, they do investment. And income distribution in economy depends on level of investment. No doubt investment is good for economic growth, but at the same time it leads to unequal distribution of income. Obviously, capitalists are earning more, more and more income is going in the hand of higher class capitalistic and very less income remain for lower class, for labor class. This model also describes dynamic relation between income and demand. That means how much uh, demand change when income change. This is mainly about uh, income elasticity of demand. And with the help of income elasticity of demand, we can know income distribution in economy. On x-axis, we have income and y-axis, we have demand. This yy is income curve, dd is demand curve. And demand is influenced by income and uh, capital. Here d is demand, y is income, k is capital. And income is a function of past demand. Here yt represent current income and d into t minus 1 represent past demand. So income is function of past demand. E represents stability in uh, income and demand. Means uh, at uh, y3 income and uh, d3 demand our economy is in equilibrium. 
and Y1, Y2, D1, D2 represent uh, demand at different level of income. So this is all about Kleksky theory of distribution. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.